What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. And these are my Fanatec CSL pedals. And this is a couple of elastomer spacers that are designed to take the performance of the CSL pedals and take them to a higher level. So I'm very interested to try these. These were sent to me for review and we'll see if we can address some of the common issues of the CSL pedals and see if they can sort of punch above their weight as far as entry level load cell pedals go. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so as mentioned, these are my CSL pedals. And before I even get started with this review, I want to just talk a little bit about the CSL pedals. So this is the entry level uh, pedal set from Fanatec these days. And it comes as a two pedal set, just the accelerator and the brake. Uh, but you can upgrade, you can get the clutch or you can upgrade and uh, get the load cell, which is what I have here, along with some uh, different faces uh, for these pedals. So. Um, with the load cell and with the standard plastic faces, they're $200. And then you can upgrade to these metal faces for I think $35. So um, still very entry level priced as far as load cell pedals go. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of common issues that uh, 3D Wrap hoped to address with just some 3D printed parts. So let's talk about first what they sent me. I wanna just send a massive thank you to the folks at 3D Wrap. They sent me these socks. I didn't know I was getting these, but uh, sim racing socks with grips on the bottom. And they say 3D Wrap across the top. So very cool, thank you guys. And the second thing they sent me is a couple of these washers slash spacers. I don't know what you would exactly call these, uh, but these are designed, if you look at the back of the CSL pedals, um, where, the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but this stack of uh, rubber spacers and plastic washers where that meets the actual metal uh, pedal arm. Uh, there's a couple of spacers, washers, whatever you want to call them. And apparently they're prone to cracking. So they 3D print these and uh, they're a little bit softer and they won't crack. So sent me one of those. And then the core of it, these uh, elastomer, uh, spacers. So there's two in each bag, uh, one progressive and one linear uh, times two. So I have a total of two linear, two progressive. And uh, these retail for about 18 euro each uh, for, for one of them, uh, or about 33 euro to get both. And so um, I'm going to be able to try this in a bunch of different combinations. And there is a lot of ways you can do it. So currently with the CSL pedals, and I'll try and get a good shot of this, but uh, there's this stack of rubber and plastic back here. And that's what provides the resistance uh, for the brake pedal. I'm not sure you guys can see that, but it's a very, very uh, stiff uh, tra uh, pedal travel and it doesn't move very far. So if you see it in action, uh, the total distance from resting to full brake is, is not that far. And what these do is actually increase that distance and it varies by what you're looking for. Obviously the uh, linear has further travel and then the progressive uh, has less travel. But uh, you can mix and match. So with this stack, basically you could get two of these in here. So you could keep a little bit of the Fanatec rubber and plastic uh, assembly back there and put in one linear, or you could put in one progressive, or you could take the entire rubber and plastic stack out and you could put in two progressives or two linears or one, one linear and one progressive. So there's a bunch of ways you could actually rock this. So um, I'm gonna try them in different ways and I don't think it should be too bad uh, as far as the installation goes. I think this just, uh, if I get a couple of fingers in there, I think I can just pop this out. Uh, that is indeed the case. So yeah, pretty simple. And then this just comes apart. Don't mind me just dropping parts all over the place. Uh, but yeah, you can just uh, pull these off the, the rod. I'm gonna keep that together just for a second. Um, but if you heard something drop, that was actually these little plastic washers. And indeed, one of mine is broken. So you guys probably can't see that, but uh, the top of it is cracked off. Not that it would affect the braking performance at all, but it is interesting that uh, I didn't even know this, but it had broken off. So uh, with these elastomer, with the softer uh, build here, that shouldn't be a problem in the future. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to try different combinations. I'm going to try, uh, again, two linear 
two progressive and one linear, one progressive. And uh, that's going to give me different pedal travel. And um, yeah, we'll see what I like and then I'll do some testing. All right. So the first one I tried was with the two linear elastomer mods. And so this was the softest version. And uh, I think it was a 53% travel increase here. And uh, it just felt too soft. It almost felt like the CSL pedals uh, without the load cell. It just kind of went all the way back. And uh, yeah, just not enough there for me. And uh, so this one just didn't really do it for me. So the next one I tried was the progressive. And so with the two Elastomer progressive mods, um, it still felt too soft and not by much, but it did feel a little bit too soft. My brain has kind of been, been conditioned to what a load cell brake pedal should feel like based on the V3 inverted pedals from Fanatec or based on the Husingfeld sprint pedals. And uh, so this one with the two progressive, it still felt just a little bit too soft. So then the next step was to go on to uh, replacing one of the elastomer mods with the rubber and plastic grommets from the uh, Fanatec CSL pedal. So going back halfway to the original setup. And this one felt right to me. So I have some plastic and rubber from the original CSL pedals and then just one of the progressive elastomer mods. So this is basically as stiff as you can get it while still modding it with the 3D wrap elastomer mod. And this one felt right. There was uh, comparatively not much travel, especially when going all the way back to the two linear mods, but this one felt really, really good. And um, yeah, I, I will say it's, a, it's an improvement on the base CSL pedals. I thought it was very impressive. The stiffness, that uh, real rigidity you get from the CSL pedals with the load cell, um, it's definitely softened a lot and I like the feel of it. There's still good return on it, um, but it does feel a lot softer. And uh, yeah, so I was very impressed with it. All right, guys, so let's go back into the studio and uh, I'll give my final thoughts. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the 3D Wrap Elastomer Brake Mod for the Fanatec CSL pedals. Well, overall, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. It's, uh, it's a nice little mod, super simple, goes in in you know under a minute, and uh, it really did improve the brake feel. Now, I'm a big fan of these CSL pedals. I think they're underrated. Um, I also own a set of Husingfeld Sprint pedals. I own the Fanatec V3 inverted pedals. So I have a couple of pedals in the $1,000 range, and this is not that, but at the same time, I am a big fan of the CSL pedals for their simplicity, and they perform really well as well. Like, especially the clutch and accelerator, the travel is very smooth, but I always did have an issue with the brake, and that travel was just too small. Uh, but now, with these 3D wrap uh, brake mods, um, it does improve that travel, extends it a bit. It's, uh, it's easier to be more precise with your braking when you need it, and I'm very impressed. Um, but there is, I wouldn't say a fatal flaw, but there, there's something that needs to be talked about, and that is the price. So um, I think $18 for, or 18 euro rather, for a little piece of elastomer, it's, it's kind of asking a lot, frankly. And uh, I think that's going to turn people off, especially when I went through the sort of Goldilocks process of finding the right strength for what I like to feel. But that's not necessarily what you're going to want to feel. So you will need to experiment. But the problem is you'd have to buy a set of four. Uh, you'd have to buy two of the linears, two of the progressives in order to get the feel right. So you're talking about roughly 33 euros times two um, to find out what the right feel is. So at that point, you're getting up to, you know, uh, whatever, not 50%, but 30 to 40% the price of the entire pedal set for the mod. So... <laughs> Yeah, it, it's tricky. It's tricky because I, I think it's a great product, but I think um, it, it should be sold as sort of a, a complete package with, with two linears, two progressives. And uh, by the way, definitely get these bushings, these washers, these rings, whatever you want to call them, uh, that, that fit on the, the back of the, uh, of the CSL pedals. Definitely get those rings because it's going to be coming on and off so much as you replace this that you don't want to snap the uh, the plastic rings that come with the pedals. Um, but anyway, back to the mod itself. So, um, yeah, I, I, I really think it's great. But again, I don't know how you would know which feel is going to be right for you without buying four of them. And, and it, 
it, it's a tough thing. So I'm I'm hoping that 3D Wrap can revisit this. I'm hoping they can bundle two progressives, two linears um, into a single purchase and ideally drop the price because I do think 18 euro for a single piece of uh, elastomer uh, like this, it, it does seem high to me. Um, but it's a great product. And I think if you're considering the CSL pedals overall, and I really recommend them, I love these. Um, again, at the price point, I think it, it, it it's fantastic. And uh, these uh, elastomer mods really enhance that. Um, but it's a great set of pedals overall. Simple, doesn't have the frills, doesn't have the feel, doesn't have the frills rather of the uh, V3 inverted, doesn't have the feel of the Husingvelt Sprint, that's for sure. But at the same time, I think it's a great simple set of pedals and getting the load cell at the $200 price point is fantastic. And then enhancing that with the elastomer, I think is really, really great. So my suggestion would be if you're buying the CSL pedals with the LC upgrade, uh, budget 18 extra euro and get yourself one of these mods because I, I really do like it. And uh, of course, it doesn't have to be there, but I think you will be happier with it with that extra little bit of travel. Um, so yeah, if you can uh, get one of them, but just recognize that it might not be V1 and you might have to order extras after the fact, I guess is the only thing I can say for now. But overall, 3D Wrap, really, really happy with the product and uh, it performs very, very well. Um, hopefully we can just sort of uh, get some improvements on the pricing structure. But otherwise, great. So thank you to 3D Wrap for sending me this to try it out. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with the result. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.